How you doing? I'm Matt with 731woodworks.com. Today, I'm gonna tell you about the top farmhouse furniture that sells. That's what this video is all about. I'm gonna tell you about the farmhouse projects that sell, why they're selling, and why you should focus on that market. If you follow this channel very long at all, you know we build quite a bit of farmhouse furniture and there's a reason for that. It's because it sells. Let me tell you my top farmhouse projects that I've sold and continue to sell, and I hope you can take them and make sales with them. Now keep in mind, all of these projects have build videos you can go follow. I'll link them in the description below when you see the project, you just go look for it in the description. It takes you to that video. I'll also put a playlist together, I'll link at the end. You can go look at all of these projects. Let's get started. So if you've seen my top five woodworking projects that sell or my five more woodworking projects that sell, some of these items are in those lists because that's what's selling. They are very good sellers. I've heard from several of you who messaged me on Instagram at 731 Woodworks or on Facebook, any of those places, or in the comments. I get messages daily. People will send me and say, hey, I started making these projects. They're selling like gangbusters. They're selling like crazy. These things really, really sell. People like the way they look. If you can build them, they will sell. Sometimes it takes a little longer to sell than others, but these are hot items right now, and I think you need to look into it. So let's start off. So you want to stick around to the end to see all these projects, but I'll go ahead and give you my top seller, end tables. Farmhouse end tables, super simple build. There is plans available to this build actually. These are so simple and they sell. People love them. You can reduce the size or make them bigger, whatever you want to do. But these farmhouse end tables, you can build them in a variety of colors. They sell well. These things really do well for me. They're actually fairly easy to build. You can build them in a few hours and they just, we have one in our home actually and still have it. I built it three and a half years ago. They hold up extremely well, no issues with them. And they're really strong pieces of furniture and they make a statement in the home. And it was one of my very first projects I actually put on this channel. The video quality is not quite as good as the rest of the videos that progress in the future, but just like building and woodworking, we learn as we go. Now, if you're looking for a little end table with a drawer, this little farmhouse, uh, this little farmhouse end table is perfect for that. It's that slimmer profile, it's that more modern farmhouse look that I think we're gonna trend into in 2021 and so does Miss 731. We think that's where the trend is going to the more modern look. It's less chunky, it's thinner profile, it's cleaner looking. I think this is gonna be really popular. I know that I've heard from several of you who built these and say they are, they're a really good products for you to have and for you to sell. They're doing well for you. I think if you'll try one of these, you'll get some sales on them. Second farmhouse style furniture item that sells very well are coffee tables. Now they're a little bit bigger and a little bit more, a little harder to store if you don't have a place to store them. But I have about three different styles of farmhouse coffee tables I've made over the years and all three of them do very well. Now the one, the big square one, it's a four foot square type coffee table like you see here. This thing is a really big project. It takes up a lot of room. If you can build one, have it in your portfolio, those sell well. Now, when you start getting into the one with the breadboard ends, that is a phenomenal piece that I've heard from dozens of you that have messaged me that say, hey, I built this, I sell them as fast as I can build them. They sell very well because they're chunky. That's that classic farmhouse look. Paint that base, stain that top. Man, they look good. Now, the newest one I made, it's a little more lower profile. It doesn't have the breadboard ends. It's a little more lower profile. It uses those one by sixes, one by, one by fours. It uses a thinner one by material, one by material, in case you're not from the South. It's got a lower, thinner profile. It's a little cleaner look, a little more modern look. That's that modern farmhouse look. If you painted the base of that thing, stained the top, I'd love to see a picture of that because it's gonna look good. Of course, farmhouse tables, those things are big. So if you don't have a place to store one of those, or if you're not gonna make one for yourself, which is a good idea, make your own, take pictures of it, telling people you're making those in business. Those things sell pretty well, but the farmhouse coffee bar or the farmhouse console table like you see here. I have sold a bunch of these things, man. These things sell so well because I think, I think because they're multi-use. They, people can use them for kitchen islands. They can use them for extra storage in the kitchen. They can use them in their dining room to put dishes on. You can put them by the door, have an entryway table. There's so many uses for these things that people can use them in many different ways. They can use them for baking stands, put your KitchenAids on them. They can use them for coffee stands, put their coffee on there, coffee makers on there. 
They're just, they're multi-use pieces that I think a lot of people enjoy having in the home and they look really nice. Another popular item is a farmhouse sofa table or that DIY bar. Both are fairly similar builds. One has the X on the back, the other has the X on the ends. Those are very clean, very nice looking builds. Those are really popular in this area. One of the more popular builds on the channel is the farmhouse TV stand we made. We got some plans coming for that as well. That thing, it's a really big piece, but it's so nice. And that's one we're talking about remaking or redoing, refinishing to make it look more modern. It has a distressed base. We're fixing to clean that up, make it look a little more modern to fit what we're transitioning to in our own home is the modern farmhouse look. Those things sell pretty well, but again, they're really big. So unless you're making one for yourself, I wouldn't recommend just building it and waiting for it to sell because it's so big, it's gonna take up a bunch of space. And then this isn't really a furniture item, but those stove covers that I mentioned dozens of times, I can't tell you how many things, I've sold hundreds of those things, hundreds of them. Last year at this time, that's all I was doing was building stove covers, just bang, 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 bang. As fast as I could build them, I was selling them. They were selling so fast. Now, a typical size on those things are about 30 inches wide by about 20, 21 inches deep. It's a common stove size. So if you just wanna build a common size couple of them just to show people that you can build them, and then you can start customizing to, for custom orders because some stoves are 31, some are 29, some are 20 inches deep, 19, 21, just depends on the stove. I always put a disclaimer on there, don't put those things on hot stoves. Make sure the stove is off. They're made of wood, they will burn. I mean, use common sense with them. We use one in our home, still have it for three, four years now. They're extremely, extremely popular sellers. People can use them for ottoman trays. They can use them for serving trays. They can use them for stove covers. There's a few uses you can use those things for and they look really cool. You can stain them, you can paint them, you can do whatever you want to with them to make them look unique. You can monogram them to make them more custom for people. Those things are hot sellers and they have been hot sellers hot. I shouldn't use hot with stove cover. Those things are big sellers. They sell extremely well. And those of you who are making them, I'm seeing the pictures you're sending me, stacks of them. You've got stacks of them stacked up because you're making so many five, six at a time and selling them. Those are really good sellers. Watch any of my videos about how to grow a woodworking business. You have to cater to your customers. If your customer is asking for modern furniture, if that's the majority of your customer base, then you need to cater to those customers. If your customers are asking for more farmhouse style furniture, you need to start catering to those. That's where the business is at. How do you know what to build? Man, I'm telling you, there's a bunch of different ways. Main thing is you start looking for what people are asking for in your local area. Another good idea, Google Trends. Just go check out Google Trends. You can Google Google Trends. And actually in 2019, one of the top home style searches was farmhouse style. Well, that was the number one home style search in 2019. We're fixing to go into 2021. Farmhouse hasn't gone out of style yet. Now, what has changed is it was a little more rustic farmhouse where you could get away with a little more rustic builds, distressed bottoms, that sort of thing. Now we're, it kind of went contemporary farmhouse in 2020, I think. And then in 2021, we're going into the more modern farmhouse. All that means to me is the base of your product. Now farmhouse to me means it's basically a two-tone. You got a colored base with a stained top. And then of course the style of the furniture goes with that as well. It's more square, squared off type furniture. The base, if you paint it a solid color, now the more modern farmhouse, what we're fixing to transition to in our home actually, is we're gonna take some of our old pieces that we've made on the channel, and we're gonna start painting the base a solid color like white or solid gray, whatever Miss Servant 31 decides. If you wanna see a video on us kind of re, refinishing, if you wanna see a video on us touching up the, the yeah. If you want to see a video on us modernizing the products we've already got, drop a comment below and let us know that. So you want to cater to your customer base uh, and it just depends on your area. So if you watch Ms. 731's video about how to market your woodworking projects to women, you hear her talk about keeping up with current trends and one of the ways of doing that is going into the department stores. Kirkland's, Pier 1, or Pier 1 still open? Um, Pottery Barn, Dillard's, any of those type big department stores that are selling furniture, go in there and see what they have on display. The reason you do that is because they've got big marketing teams 
that know what to push. So I recently went in Kirkland's and Home Goods. It's another home style store. And what did I find? Farmhouse. We're at the end of 2020. Farmhouse table, farmhouse TV stands with sliding doors, the barn doors. It was everywhere, all farmhouse style. Why do you think that is? It's selling. If it's not selling, it would not be on display in there or it'd be clearanced out. It's selling. Farmhouse, I think 2021, we're gonna continue into the farmhouse style. The goal of this channel is to help you make money woodworking, help you grow your woodworking business, and to help you grow your woodworking skills. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and click that box right there. It takes you to the next set of videos. If you click that box, you're getting that big old virtual fist pump. Also, you can click that box to check out one of my other favorite videos. If you have not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon next to it. Click all so you get notified of all the new content. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you.